here today with John and uh, John is a guy who just loves birdhouses and as you can see from the background and works solidly on them what all year round or yeah I pretty well work on them uh, right from January right to December uh, if not more in the winter time in the winter months I uh, turn part of my house into a workshop and uh, that's when I really build a lot of them and you have quite the workshop as well I see behind you here yeah I ha actually have two workshops here I have this one the big one behind me and then in my house I have about um, 16 foot by 16 foot shop in there and I set up with saws and stuff in there but uh, during the winter time I usually uh, cut all the big stuff outside with the table saw because of the dust and then use the miter saws inside so I, I do most of the building inside but not so much all the cutting just the uh, just especially the table saw the ripping of the logs because that makes a lot of dust how did this all begin John my father built birdhouses um, a lot when when I was a kid like thousands of them he used to build them for conservations and stuff like that and then uh, and then I got into building real houses uh, at an early age from about 14 years old and I did that for well over 20 years uh, I got injured doing it after a long time my body got all busted up and ended up with a uh, chronic pain so um, when I turned 37 they basically told me to stop working like physically working so uh, after a couple of years of sitting around I, I got bored and thought well I'm gonna try to at least build something and, and then that's when I started building the birdhouses. I started with uh, building a two-foot square birdhouse and then they just gradually got bigger and bigger after that. Well I noticed John this one this centerpiece behind us beautiful piece of work. How long would it take you to do something like that? Uh, that one there took me two and a half years uh, or two years for that one on and off just more or less it's just coming up with the design and, and stuff like that and then after about a year or so uh, it starts getting really big and heavy and you start to wonder like if if you're actually getting anywhere with it but um, after two years I finally got it done anyway yeah so that was great so now you have this immense birdhouse but you got to get it up there how did you manage to do that uh, actually putting them up is the easy part um, I have a neighbor with a tractor and a forklift and uh, he comes over usually when I want to put one up I usually try to put two or three up at the same time just because he's usually busy but uh, it takes about five minutes to put one up and then once he's gone uh, I like I temporarily brace it when he's here and then once he's gone I replace the braces with logs and so it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do each one so it's not really too bad that's the easy part putting them up well that is an amazing structure there's no question about it and it took you how long to build that two years two years of solid work wow that's yeah there's actually uh, probably about three or four families in there right now there's one living in the tower on the top um, it also has a lot of dormers so there's smaller birds that are starting to move into them I find they like the, the houses with the dormers a lot because it's a little uh, longer hole and it's harder for anything to get at them so you mentioned to me uh, when I was talking to you earlier also that you have swimming pools for them yeah, uh, several of the houses, uh, any any that have a flat roof on them, I, I put a pool on the top. Uh, they're usually about an inch and a half deep, and it has uh, rolled roofing in it. So whenever it rains, they fill up with water, and which we've had a lot of rain lately, so they always have a lot of water in them. And they use them uh, for for bathing in and for drinking out of. So you can actually see them doing this, eh? Oh yeah, that's uh, the the house behind me, uh, right here. I when I built it, I didn't think of using it as a pool on the top but um, I actually had a hole drilled so that the water would run out of it but eventually it plugged up and I just uh, the one day noticed a bunch of birds splashing around up there and then realized I guess they want a pool on them so that's it kind of happened by accident yeah. so, so you have several hotels here you don't charge your guests do you no no not at all they they just move in and leave whenever they want but they seem to be moving in and not leaving yeah, well, the, the few bird houses I have at home, I think it's the same birds come back every year. Um, after watching them now for the last past six years, uh, I, they actually stay in them all year round, so they don't leave, uh, and they just, I think, keep filling up more rooms as they have more babies. They just keep moving in, into the ones next to it and stuff like that. But For something like that, one in the centerpiece, what would you charge? 
Uh, if I were to redo it, like to do it again, I'd probably charge, I'd say probably roughly about $4,000. Okay. Just because the amount of time, and there's a lot of lumber in that one. It weighs about 500 pounds, so there's a lot of detail inside as far as doing all the inside work. and It's just a monster to build them. So if someone in, let's say, Manitoba decided they wanted it, can you ship it to them? Yes. Um, what I do is uh, either pick up skids or build a skid and and have it on there and then I um, wrap it and then have a, a, a purulator come and pick it up with freight and they, they'll take it out there but the shipping is, is really expensive to ship them. The biggest one I've shipped so far was about 200 pounds and it was over a thousand dollars just to ship it to Alberta. So UPS will actually come in and oh, do yeah. that? Yeah. Anything that they can't pick up manually with one person it has to go by freight. Well you know I'm guessing anyone that's going to buy a birdhouse like that, I don't think the money would be too much of a problem. No, that's exactly it. The people that do buy these usually have a lot of money and they have a lot of property. So um, usually I, an average of five, ten acres. So these things don't really look that big on, on a ten acre lot. No, I can see that. So you're looking at $4,000. What about one of these pretty little ones? Uh, they go. They start at $100, uh, an average one for, say, two foot square, six rooms, $200. An average, like a medium-sized birdhouse, about 32 to 36 inches square is about five or $600. I, I think it's good that any that people buy them just for the sake of uh, being able to just sit back and watch the birds. It's very relaxing. I think they would, if they started to um, watch them, they would get into it a lot more than, because it is very relaxing, I think, that way. And also, uh, I have a few plans online where they can build them if they want. So that way they can they can see exactly what I do as far as uh, constructing one of these things. So very rewarding as far as that goes, as far as actually seeing the birds use them. So if someone decided to buy the plans, you know, to build one themselves, would you be able to help them in the sense of if they call you and want no one? Yeah, uh, the first thing I do whenever I send out a set of plans, I, I always say, if you have any questions or anything, anytime, doesn't matter, just let me know. And uh, I do, I, a lot of times I'll send them pictures or, or um, uh, even, even a small video if I have to of how I do certain things just so that they can get those done. And then they, I tell them they can post them on Facebook, on, on my group. And that way um, they can see what other people are doing too. And, and they all, I find that they all learn from each other. So, so you have a page on Facebook? Yeah, yeah it's uh, called Extreme Birdhouses on Facebook. Okay, on fa so if you want to look it up on Facebook, Extreme Birdhouses, yeah. right? And that will bring it onto your page. Yeah. That's really interesting, John. Thank you very much for your time. Sure. It's a really hot day today, that's yeah. for sure. Well, it's than but yeah, but it's nice to be out and about and to watch the birds. Yeah, it is. Again, thank you very, very much. Bye. Bye.